Hi and welcome back, Attorney Steve Vondren here. We are talking in this video about public domain photo sites to help you build your YouTube channel. Okay, legally, <laughs> that's what we're talking about here. So this is general legal information only and not legal advice, but I'm gonna give you some of my, really, I you know, I really only like these four sites. If you're looking for public domain photos, I mean, there's a lot, of, you'll read a lot of articles out there about this site and that site. These are kind of my favorites. Um, there's really only four of them. That's not to say there's not a lot of other websites out there because there are. But number one, coming in at number one is Pixabay. As I say here, it's a great website. It always helps to check on whenever you're dealing with these public domain sites. These are photos that you're able to use for personal and commercial use. But I always say make sure you're checking if there's any special restrictions. Because I've been to so many websites with public domain photos and then I find out, whoa, it's public domain, but there's a limit. You have to give attribution or you have to, you know, um, you can't use it commercially or you can't modify it. So I, all I'm saying is look these sites up. Most of it's pretty good. I think it's pretty solid. I think Pixabay is really good. Um, that comes in at number one for me, but always check before you use a photo because you don't want to get that nasty cease and desist letter. Number two is Unsplash. This is another good website that I like, and it's got a lot of, again, a lot of public domain for commercial or personal use. You can use these in your videos or on your, you know, other projects that you have commercially. I mean, so that's pretty neat. You have a lot of photographers willing to give up their photos or let other people use them for commercial, you know, to make products or make posters. You can put it on, you know, you know, outdoor furniture or whatever you want to do, wall art, murals. So it's kind of cool, okay? So Unsplash is number two on my list. Number three, Snappy Goat. If you haven't checked it out, I would encourage you to check out snappygoat.com. It's a really great site, user-friendly, easy to search, tons of images. And again, that's another site that I think is a really good one. And number four, Google Images. And I did a video on this. It's just right here above the bat's, uh, right above the bat's wing there. Just Google Vondren Google trick to avoid a f infringement. Vondren Google trick to avoid infringement. There's a way to use the advanced search tools on Google Images. It's not difficult at all. It's a piece of cake. And you can actually find images that are free to modify and use even for commercial use. So if you're looking for these photos, you want to add a few photos to spruce up your YouTube channel or for other purposes. Like I said, there's a lot of different types of things you can do with a photo. These are some good sites to check out. Now, I'm just going to give you some of my key takeaways here. Number one. Always check your restrictions, even, even though it says, uh, you know, royalty-free, free to use. Just double-check before you decide to put it into your YouTube channel. You don't want to end up taking this out later. But before you do that, make sure there's no special re restrictions. Number two, paid sites will have you sleeping better at night. I personally don't use these sites. Uh, I mean, I guess I would if I really found something I really wanted to use. But paid sites will often indemnify you. Um, for example, I use iStock Photo and Photolia, which is now Adobe. I believe both of those out offer some sort of indemnification. So that means if I got a takedown letter or a cease and desist or a demand letter, a monetary demand letter from a company, I'd say, hey, what's up, iStock Photo? I thought you had the rights to this. Um, so they would actually indemnify you, but there are limits on the indemnification. But for me, I felt pretty comfortable with that. So don't, um, if you're really serious about building your channel and you don't want to be having to take videos down or get YouTube strikes, using paid sites is the good way to go. You'll sleep better at night. And again, three, there's a lot of other websites. This just gives you an idea about public domain and how you can use that to build your YouTube channel, even on a shoestring budget. So I hope this has been helpful. If you need more information, I got my website down there, attorneysteve.com, copyright, trademark law. And if you need any help, look us up. If you enjoyed this video, punch that like button. Don't be afraid to subscribe. And if you like the video, feel free to share it on your social media networks. Have a great day. We'll chat again. Dernie Steve out.